Hi right, guys, welcome to my latest video. Uh, today we're building this bike. Shows through all the steps I went through to get it into the state it's at now. So stay tuned. Hey okay, guys, welcome to the second part of uh, building this motorized bicycle. Well, it's not really a bike, it's more of a motorbike, but anyway. Today I'm gonna cut these parts of the swing arm, move it out so the wheel is in the center and I might start making some mounts and then maybe even make the down tube So I've got this swing arm where I want it to sit. Got a piece of three mil aluminium flat bar there. And I'm going to weld a gusset in the corners, everywhere to brace it up. I've got some four mil aluminium plate to use as the engine mounts. So what I need to do now is measure off the sprocket to the center of this wheel and then off this front sprocket to the center of the frame and that'll show me where to mount the motor So, I've got the uh, engine mounts sorted out on there, which is a good step. Now it's all sort of rigid. I think the next thing I need to work on is to make the down tube. But in order to do that, I need to see where the front wheel is going to travel. So, I might put a strap or something that compresses the forks enough so I can see where it's going to clear or where it's going to interfere around here or over there. So this is how I've uh, had to hook it up. So I can pull the fork down and see if it's going to clear everything. Friendly little visitor here, Fantail. So the situation I've got going on now is to mount this 
I just put the bolts through because there's another plate the same, if I just put those bolts through there, it's going to crush the pipe. So I need to make like a crush pipe that goes through. And I found this piece of aluminium solid bar. I think it's 16 mil. I can set that through there, but I've got to drill a hole in the center. But in the past, I have made this thing. So I can centralize this with the drill, put that in the middle, and use it like a lathe to drill the center. So hopefully that works. I don't uh, face the end off a bit, make it flat with the file. Now I've got a snapped off drill that I've sharpened to use as a center drill. find if you're drilling holes straight through a pipe to get them lined up if you look down the pipe so you can see the drill go through makes it a lot easier to get them pretty close to perfect so I've got that all welded up ready to put it in So I cut the blocks off the old swing arm and I've just welded them onto there so temporarily. I'm going to take the whole thing off and so here it is all together. Um, I tacked these blocks in, got the wheel just loosely sitting in there. And the factory expansion chamber pretty much will fit. But what I might do is run this pipe down like that and then have the muffler come back up the other side or something. So the pipe will hook down and then the pipe will come up like that or I don't know even down somehow probably down like that's not bad but anyway I've got a lot to do to it it's far from even close to finish you can see the motor wiggles in there a bit but yeah I'm pretty happy with how it looks it's actually heaps lower than what it's um, gonna be but I might make an adjustable mount here but if I turn this shock around, I have room to fit the carburetor. So I might make this shock mount adjustable so I can have at different heights. And I need to, I might replace this whole top tube with a thick one that I can also use as the fuel tank. And I need a place to hide the electric. So I don't know, I might section off a bit of frame there, make a little box to hide everything in. And this bike runs an oil pump. I had this wild idea of utilizing this back tube, putting a sight glass in here, filling it with oil, and the oil from that can run that. So I can still use the two-stroke oil pump so I don't have to mix fuel. Or should I just mix fuel? Maybe. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment about what you think I should do next. And, uh, Subscribe. See you later.